Hello and welcome to Felix Wardrobe, a new series, 20 parts at least. We got Marcia on the camera. <laughs> Are you zooming in? Don't zoom in. I, I just thought I'll do like a, I'll go, why am I doing this? Help. This is cool. No, it's not. So, uh, this is my closet. Look at Marcia's closet. A little bigger, uh, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe you probably don't care about what clothes I have, but I thought I'll do it anyway. So, here we go. Oh, welcome to my closet. We got all kinds of stuff. Where should we begin? This one? Well, that's my, that's uh, me underwears. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well up here we have uh, two, I have two underwears left. We have to do laundry marks, yeah, or otherwise I'm gonna have to go cowboy. I also have these, which I, it's like, I don't know why I saved this. Do you remember how long I've had this? Mm -hmm. This is one of those things that stayed in the wardrobe along with my underwear. Probably soaked up all my ball sweat, sorry. <laughs> Should I wear it for the sake of the video? Do I look cute? Let's check out the next drawer. Oh, my socks. Yes, you can tell, neatly organized. I'm a very organized sock person. Moving on. Do you want to check out my socks? Just one. Just one? All right, I'll pick favorite one. Pair of socks. My favorite pair Well, it's not here. Well, Second pair. I, this used to be my favorite pair, but now I only have one of them. But it's got like a little tongue on it. You can always like Okay, next up we have very organized as well. <laughs> I didn't clean before this. I know everyone else just cleans and they're like, oh, oh, it, it, it just happened to be like this. Well, I have all my watches. Got my baby G, which we got in Japan. I'm not really too much into watches. Is that why you have 25 million? Well, you have to have some of them, you know? This one it looks expensive, but it's not. <laughs> It's Vivian Westwood. It, it, yeah, it's probably the nicest one I have, but... Oh yeah, the Paul Smith one. This one's... It's, it's, a, bit fe it's a bit feminine, but I like it anyway. <laughs> I don't know, I, I know some people, they spend a lot of money on like one watch, but for me, I'd rather buy a lot of different watches and then just use them. I, you get bored of watches, and like, no matter how much you love a watch, you're gonna get bored of it. So I, I'd rather get different ones. We got the pins. If you're cool like me, you gotta have pins. Always add pins. They, a little pug can save an outfit, you know? An artist cat. Can't go wrong with that. We're, we're talking about, is this like the girl from uh, Bob's Burger? I have a lot of black caps. <laughs> Listen, they're, they're good, it's always good. Hey, a meme, good old meme. This one is from Lazy Oaf, I got it for free. I got this one for free, and I got this one for free. And I got this one for free. <laughs> and I got this one for free. But you never know when you need a cap. You know what I mean? When you got a bad hair day. Not today though. I like them small. That's what she said. Moving on to my pant collection. It goes, look at this boy. That's right. I always just wear these pants. <laughs> these are from Urban. Black skinny pants. You, you can't go wrong with it. Especially when you got legs like these. You know what I mean? It looks really nice on the butt as well. Or does it? I don't know actually. Did you just zoom in on my butt? I have this pair of black as well, but... Edgar. This is all Edgar. It just soaks up Edgar. I can't wear them. Got a nice pair of sweatpants. They're from Huff. It's always good to have like a nice pair. Just so you're feeling lazy. Just throw them on. Fashion can go with any outfit. Adidas sweatpants as well. They look like proper nice pants, but really they're just fucking sweatpants. Got a cool little back pocket, very Japanese. I think with my style, a lot of it is like Japanese or Asian or Korean fashion or whatever. I'm probably wrong, am I? I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's not like I know anything about these things. Oh yeah, and I have these as well. They're so weird. It's like snowboard fabric or whatever. It's like this weird fabric, but they're so comfortable. Moving on to my shirts, which I never wear. This one is cool, I got it recently. Got the same problem with fucking Edgar everywhere on it. And it's ethical. 
I care about ethical clothing. Might say you told me like about ethical clothing or whatever. So I don't. 90% isn't. But if you have one piece that is, you feel like I made a positive impact on the world. Oh yeah, this jacket is so cool. Finally, it's summer and I can wear it properly. It's from one of my favorite brands. It's Heresy. 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 But it's white, like it's begging to just get destroyed, having a white jacket. It's got this cool back <laughs> heresy. Heresy. I really like it, it's really dope. Really cool. Uh, so now it's getting hot out, I can finally wear stuff like this. I don't know, it, is this still cool? It's like a new season now, like I feel like I need to update. But this is uh, from Race by Wolf, it's a Canadian brand. Streetwear. Cool stuff. I, I really like it. You wear like a maybe like a long sleeve underneath. I think that looks really cool. Same with this one. I love this one. It's so stupid and weird, but awesome at the same time. It's from uh, Vinti Andrews. I mean, it's got birds on it. <laughs> it's way oversized. I guess it's supposed to be like a dad shirt in a way, but it looks fucking cool. And I love the fabric. I literally never washed it. <laughs> it's like it's that kind of. Does that sound weird? It's that kind of fabric. All right. Don't judge me. What else do we got in here? Hoodies. Oh. Oh. My weed. My my stash. That's not looking too bad, boy. I've been looking for this. Top. Top of the morning to you, ladies. A lot of people have been asking about this one because it's so cool. It's it's hearsay again, and they I think they're like two two guys that used to be like illustrators, and then they they wanted to make a fashion brand, and I think that's you can tell like they make cool designs like like this that you would normally see. I think they have their vision. I like it. It's very cool. You can probably tell I really like like long sleeved shirts. I think it looks good. This one is from Katya Krasnova. She's a really cool like. She's a tattoo artist, and she does like she does her own merch. This is too small for me. You should you should have it merch, yeah. You want it? Good catch. Oh my god, that's all my shirts, my t-shirts. Got it. It's I have to constantly like sell stuff because I can never fit stuff in here. So we sell whatever I have extra. I sell on Depop for charity. So it's always like maxed out, and it's like, oh yeah, I'm not wearing that. I gotta replace it. What's some of my favorite here? Here's another one. It's also from Vinti Andrews. A lot of you guys complimented on this one. America. <laughs> it's like a double layer shirt. It's really cool. I love oversized type of clothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I got this one from Lazio. They don't sell it anymore. Yeah, this is from Don't Hug Me on Scare, and they don't sell it anymore. I'm really glad I got one. Got this one from Inu Inu. They sell like really weird Japanese style. You got a rep, Team Sesh. Oh yeah. It's so wrinkly. I haven't been wearing t-shirts for a while. Don't judge me, okay? This one is from Doomsday. It's a British brand. I really recommend checking them out. I think they're really cool. They do like cool prints. They're sort of like tattoo inspired. I think a lot of, if I had to describe my closet, it's like Japan, Sweden, tattoo, wanna be hipster. <laughs> There's too much to show. Let's move on to the sweater. Good old oversized hoodie. Thank you, sirens. They're coming to get me. This one my mom bought for me. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> But it's really cool. I don't think she knew it was from uh, Sad Boys, which is like uh, Young Lean's uh, rap group. He's got a cool style. I was like, good job, mom. You're actually cool. And she's like, yeah, I knew it was Sad Boys. <laughs> it's cool. I really like it. This sweater is so fucking cool. You got me this one. Uh, it's uh, Raised by Wolf again. I, I want to get more from them, but they're from Canada and I just have to pay taxes every time I buy from them. It's just, it's not worth it. Race by Wolf, hook me up, please, okay? A lot of just hoodies. Everyone is always like, oh, he's always just wearing Stussy. All right, I have two Stussy hoodies and I needed hoodies and they have cool hoodies, okay? I'm not sponsored. Please sponsor me, Stussy, please. I have two, okay? Calm down. I have two. There's two of them. And a couple pants. And a t-shirt. And 
a belt. Whatever. This one I got in LA. It's so cool. I never get to wear it. I never wear it. The guy that sold it to me, I really like. Because I didn't know the brand of the sweater and I, he was like, oh, so you don't know the brand? And I was like, no. And he's like, you sir are an awesome person. And I'm like, thank you. <laughs> I'll buy this sweater. He was wearing it too, so I felt like a little copycat, but whatever. Another from the man. This is your favorite? Vinti Andrews, again. He makes such fucking cool stuff. It's it's so oversized. It's ridiculous. Like, if you wear it the first time, you feel stupid, but it's so cool when you wear it. I love this sweater. I'll never sell it. Like, this sweater is, I don't know. Now, I know what you're thinking. Hey, Felix, uh, how do you look outside? Well, I know a lot of people are gonna hate on me, but I wear a man purse, and I'm proud, okay? What up? I got all kinds of shit here. Wallet, dog toy, vape juice. <laughs> got my OK pen. Got my tarot cards for no reason. <laughs> Skeletor. Let's put Skeletor on that bitch. Yes. So when we were in Japan, I noticed all the guys was wearing their bags like this. Like, it's a thing, apparently. So, uh, this is from Japan, Porter. It's a, yeah, Tokyo, Japan. Uh, I love it. It's so convenient. If you're a guy, no shame, okay? No shame in a purse. And all the way, all, you can always just slide it over, you know? And you're like, yeah. I, this is the most expensive thing I have. It's like, it was like 800 pounds. Whoa. Yeah. It's probably not worth it, but I, re I just, I really like that. It says John on it. <laughs> My name is John. It's a cool bag. It's a cool jacket. I had to get it, okay? I always just wear these. I really just have one pair of shoes. They're uh, Nike Hirashas. A lot of people don't like these. I don't know why. I think they're so cool. I've had other shoes that are way nicer, but they're just so easy to put on. So I'm not gonna bother putting on other shoes. <sighs> so this has been Fashion School with uh, Felix Epudapa. Uh, if you need any fashion tips, just uh, let me know at any time, you know. I know pretty much everything. I'll link uh, to whatever I use down here. I have no idea if this is entertaining or anyone gives a shit. I hope I don't seem like I'm trying to, like I know anything about anything. It's just, I didn't really used to care about dressing up at all for like a very, like my whole life. And then I think, I think when I got my tattoo, I was like, yeah. It's kind of nice to present yourself in a way. Does that make sense? That's it. Let me know if you enjoyed. Leave a like or whatever. And uh, a breakfast.